What's up guys, welcome to AC Designs Garage. Today I got a super cool little tool to share with you guys. It'll give you clean, dry air to help your sandblasting and painting stuff and keep all the contaminants out at a very affordable price. So make sure you check her out. All right guys, I wanted to show you real quick how I got this mounted up there before we go test out some of this uh, cool stuff they sent us. But Here's how I got it mounted up on the wall at the top. It comes with this, uh, the kit I got comes with the cool mount and the head and, and the filter. And this thing's really cool. It's like a, a big oil filter or like a big diesel fuel filter or something. And uh, the way I got it, it comes out, go over here to my, my regulator. It comes out of my regulator in that red hose there and I got it just looped up around. I need to make a little shorter when it comes into this side. And what I do is I just use this for my paint or like the plasma cutter or something like that because it's this one's only up to 60 psi so you got to regulate it down to 60 and then i'll take my work hose off this and run back to paint or whatever i'm using it for but i just leave this hooked up i need to make me a little shorter one so and it's got a certain way it's cool it's marked up here on top i just keep it this way so i can see it because this is mounted above the door and it has your flow and stuff which way it needs to go inlet and outlet so this is your outlet that's what'll go to your paint gun or your plasma cutter or whatever keep everything good and dry but Pretty neat compact system and stuff. Uh, one thing I did on mine, I just put a piece of square tube in here to pine it, to space it off the wall. So if we ever do need to change it, I don't know that you could, I guess if you did a whole lot of work, maybe you could fill it up. But, but I think these things will last you guys a long time. Like I said, you can buy another one later, but the really trick thing on these things is, is you know when it gets full, and I'm gonna demonstrate, uh, uh, Dan sent me this setup. He's the president of Steel Camel. And uh, he sent me a setup, and I'm not being paid to say none of this. He just sent me one to try out and stuff, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I'd share it with you guys. But the cool thing is, once this thing gets saturated with water or it pulls the moisture out of the air, uh, it will restrict your flow way down so you know, so you're not going to be spraying out moisture because this thing's full. Pretty neat little uh, setup how that works. But, yeah, we're going to get down here and do a little quick test and stuff. But I just want to show you. Let me get off the ladder. I just got it mounted up out of the way. And, uh runs down to my regular like i said this is a 60 psi they do have a 120 which i may get one of them because i run my air tools probably a little hot some of you guys are going to get mad but i run my air tools are right around 95 to 100 psi so i may step up to the also get me a uh, 120 psi one so i can run all my other air tools off off of because the life of the air tool is to keep that moisture out but yeah just want to show you how i got this set up real quick we'll get down here to the demonstration all right guys here's the pamphlets that dan sent with me and if uh, I try to get it still, you guys can pause the video if you want to read over these. And uh, I'll just do a little quick lapse over these units here. Kits that you can get. This 120 PSI one here is one I'd like to have for my, for my air tools and stuff off of. Yeah, like I said, life of your tools and especially paint, the worst thing you could do is get water mixed in or water dripping on your paint. I've actually had water drip out of the bottom where the uh, quick connect goes on and drip down on the paint and put a ring out after you're almost done with a full paint job and it's just a pain. So this is the type setup you need here. Dry, the drier the air you can get, the better. All right, I went ahead and pulled this my filter set up off the wall just so you can see it better and you can see the part number. And like I said, this is the 60 PSI max, so make sure you're regulated on the... Um, before it comes into this, you don't want anything over 60 PSI. This here's your outlet that goes to your paint hose, your working hose, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's a pretty trick setup. I just wrote the flow on here, like I said earlier, because I got it mounted up so high. So when I hook it in, so I know I'm going on the right side of everything. But anyway, that's just something I did. Uh, it didn't come with these adapters. I don't know. He may have a kit that looks like it comes with it. But here's the ones. These are like regular old plumbing adapters, I guess, or iron pipe adapters. But this is what what I got going here is, it says three quarter to one quarter, so I'm guessing that's what it is. But yeah, that screws into there, then you just, you can see there what you gotta do. I just wanna show you that piece. And uh, also he sent me some of the, the paper element that's on the inside of this, and also some of the, the powder stuff that they impregnate into the, the orange part here that does all the voodoo magic. Wait till you see what this does. It He says to pour three to four ounces of water in here and then just, dump this little packet which is not a whole lot of stuff and it's supposed to gel it up basically it's just going to give you a demonstration because i can't spray with the gun and show you this because it actually works so it's not going to show water coming out so this is what it does as the air travels through these filters any moisture that's caught in it 
it's crazy how it gels it up and like i said this thing probably lasts a really long time so we're going to pour us up three or four ounces of water in a paint cup and i'm i'm going to pour it actually back in here to where it'll gel up where it's clear so you can actually see it because these mixed cups are kind of cloudy looking so get over here to ounces and uh we'll actually do it by the book you know me guys i don't do that a lot there's about five ounces of water all right let's get this bottle cut open here i'm gonna cut her a little high sure we get that water in there cool so it says all we got to do is just uh pour this package of stuff in here let me get you zoomed in here so you can see a little better all right i'm gonna pour this in here like i said that's not that much stuff guys it's a little small but it says them five ounces we're gonna pour that in and this is demonstrating what it's gonna do if your uh, air carries moisture into it it's gonna Man, that stuff's already starting to gel. Check that. Let me get you over here. Now, this is straight up. I hadn't done nothing to it. This stuff's already gelled up. Look at it. Holy cow. Hey, dude, the water is gone. What in the world? Well, I was going to do a time lapse, but I'm looking at my phone right now, and I'm a minute 30 in this thing, and it's like... Ooh, check that out. I mean, that's nuts. Well, that's the stuff that's inside your filter here for this thing. Holy smokeroonies. Check that out. I mean, you saw me. I just put five ounces of water in this thing. And I'm talking within a few minutes. This thing has turned to some weird science experiment. Holy smokes, I didn't know it would work that fast. That's crazy, look. I mean, it turned the water into whatever this is. So we're gonna set it up and let it sit here for about 10 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna get me a rag and we're gonna put this goulash or whatever this stuff is in the rag and squeeze it and see if we can wring any water out of it. Uh, it says you can't put a, I think it was a, let me look at my cheat sheet here. It says that you can drizzle, drizzle a half a teaspoon on the orange side here. Do it a couple times, wait a few minutes, then try to squeeze some water out. So we're going to get some more water, and I'm just going to drizzle on this, and we're going to see what happens there. All right, guys, while the... Man, I still can't get her. Check that's crazy. I mean, it's so weird. It kind of feels like, you know, I'm a child of the 80s, and that old slime stuff you used to get out of the little uh, quarter machines kind of feels like that. It's... I don't know, it's kind of weird. It don't take much to entertain me, but that is nuts. I mean, you guys saw how fast it just went. Hmm. Anyway, it says to drizzle, uh, get you down here where you can see, uh, like a half a teaspoon on it. Let me get you, if I can get you a good angle. I mean, that's, that would be equivalent to a lot of moisture in an airline, just that little bit I poured. That five ounces, if you're getting that much air through there, you got some kind of issues. But Dude, it's dry. That's crazy. It drizzle cut. I probably put more than you're supposed to, and I'm going to drill a little bit more over here. I like to take stuff to the extreme. So we're gonna let this here sit for like five minutes so like you're supposed to. And uh, got a few more minutes set on this thing and we're gonna take this uh, glooby globby stuff out of here and uh, check it out. But that was crazy. I, just, I don't know, it don't take much to amaze me, but that was pretty cool how it just turned that water just to this weird stuff here. So let's wait on it. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then we're gonna test it out. 
All right, guys, while we're letting the science experiment bake here, I'm going to go over here and show you my engine. Hopefully, y'all watched this video last week. If you didn't, I'm going to put a link in the description below. You can go watch this where I painted this from start to finish outside, base coat, clear coat. Thing turned out nice, boy. She's going to look good in the C10. We are going to we'll make me a little block all plate out of some uh, polished stainless or something to put over this, or I may just uh, color match paint one to put on it. We're gonna run, that's gonna look good, ain't it? We're gonna run full ARP polish, uh, 12 points on here. We ain't gonna go too crazy with it, but I do wanna jazz it up since it's so pretty looking. And uh, polish stainless hairs and all that stuff. But let's get back to the experiment in hand. I just wanted to show you guys I hadn't seen it yet. And we're gonna put some uh, Corvette fin valve covers on it. Not these old ugly things, these are just the paint jobs, but all right. Get back to the experiment at hand. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, that's, I can't believe it either. That is nuts. When that stuff just took off like a freight train. And this here, this thing, it's done. You can, well, you can't feel it, but I can feel it. It's like, crazy it's just swollen up and jailed up in there you know, like that. actually we put a whole lot more than you're supposed to but I mean, my fingers not even wet that's crazy well i can't say this thing really does work all right guys while our science experiment is cooking off i just want to let you know this system's not intended for fresh air breathing or anything you shouldn't hook this up to your fresh air hood it don't make it to where you can breathe compressed air. They make systems that you can hook in to do that, so make sure please use them. This is not intended to be a fresh air source of a filter or anything like that, so I just use respirators most of the time, but if you're gonna use a uh, fresh air hood where you're breathing this stuff in, make sure you got the good three setup that's just made for uh, breathing fresh air. So you don't wanna breathe in that old uh, compressor air, not good for you. Just want to set that plug in here for you. So it's made to take contaminants out and give you nice dry air and your paint gun, sandblaster, all that good stuff. So, all right, guys, we're going to cut this open and get the Slimer cut out of his little home here and uh, check it out. I'm going to set him on something. Let's set him, set him on this rag here. I guess we can set him on there. This is neat here. You see, there, all the water that we put in this is. It's, it ain't coming out. That's that's pretty cool. I'm digging this setup. I've never seen nothing like this before. Yeah, we'll set it right. We'll set it on this piece here so you can see it better. <laughs> woo, woo, check that out. Look at that, guys. <laughs> that's, that's your water. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna set it down in a towel. It says the, I'm gonna cut her in half. I don't wanna destroy the whole thing. Let's see if I can, let me get a big putty knife to cut it with. All right, guys, we're gonna chop suey this thing in half because I'm gonna show dad how crazy this stuff is. I don't wanna ruin it. It's kind of weird looking and stuff, so. We're gonna just chop suey this thing. And, uh, Put, put it in a rag and squeeze it out and see how it does. So I'm gonna put this back in here. I'm gonna put this, which is still a substantial amount here. We're gonna put it in this rag. All right, now we're gonna wrap it up. We gonna squeeze. Look at that. That thing is dry. I mean, it's dry. This is a white rag. It should have turned color. Look, nothing. No water. It's actually pushing the little crystals through it. I mean, I'm squeezing a mess out of it. Look at that. Crazy. Can't believe it. There she is. Little ball of snow. It didn't. The rag's not even wet. 
I mean, it's crazy how well, it's not even wet. So there it is, guys. It passed all the tests it was supposed to. I mean, it's nuts what this stuff did. But yeah, I believe this is a good, affordable way of uh, having good, clean, dry air. And if I go paint anywhere else, I'm going to put it back up on the wall like I showed you guys earlier. And uh, if I need to go anywhere else to do any painting, I'm going to take that thing along. I might take a let some of my buddies bar it and see how they like it. I'm pretty impressed with it. I really like it. But, but as for this stuff, dispose of it properly. Don't know if it's harmful to animals. Pretty sure I wouldn't want to eat it. So... That's just the test pack. You're not going to be doing none of this stuff here. I mean, unless you order one of these cool little samples. But yeah, I'm going to dispose of this properly so no animals or childrens get a hold of it or anything like that. And uh, clean up and bag it up and trash it properly. And we're going to get back to painting something else. So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this little mad scientist experiment here. Uh, thanks to Dan at Steel Camel for sending this out. Like I said, go check him out. I'm going to put his links in the description below. But wasn't that crazy how the thing? I know I keep saying that, but I mean, I watched it just live as it could be, and it just went to a solid, and no water comes out of it. I, it's, I don't know. It's above my pay grade. But thanks again, Dan, to sending that out for me. Appreciate it. I'm going to use the mess out of it. And uh, make sure you go visit Dan. I'm going to put all his links and all that stuff in the description below. And uh, go get you one of these things. The cleaner air you can have, you can turn projects out like this right here and not have any contaminants or anything like that. It makes your air tools last longer and everything. Just make sure that you get the right one. They got a 60 PSI, which is good for painting because we don't paint over 30 PSI, 30, 35 PSI max. And if you're going to run air tools, which I need to get one of them for my shop also, it's 120. So go hit Dan up. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you go like, subscribe, and uh, go support Dan, American Company, down in Tampa, Florida. And remember, be kind to one another. Jesus loves you, so do we. God bless. We gone.